Hi, this is Phil, and I'm here to tell you all about the Capes and Lunatics Patreon. Get early access to all of our interviews, including the monthly Chichester chats with writer and comic book legend DG Chichester, new episodes of classic Capes and Lunatics shows, including The Quantum Zone, This That or the Third, and many, many more specials, all completely uncensored. Access starts for $3 a month. We'll video when you pledge $5 a month. Check out the link in our show notes or go to patreon.com slash capes and lunatics. Hope to see you there. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Ben Riley, Spider Man's clone. He's the guy. He's got a sweatshirt. Yeah, that's how that's how you know he's different. And he and he's a blonde hair. Oh my. Oh my. That's right, kids. It's the end of the month. Time for another Scarlet Spider episode. Hey. <laughs> I have been <laughs> joining me, as always, for these episodes, the High Priest of Conchu and Sausage himself. It is. Oh, salutations, meat lovers. It's me, Ray. Uh, back again for another fantastic episode. Y- you've. You've sideswiped me here, Phil. I, I, I know. I, I Last minute, I, I wasn't even sure she was going to show up. But yes, kid, that is not Dave Finn of the Signal of Doom. That is, that's right. You get a full month of Little Hellfire here on the Ultimate Spider Cast. Morning. <laughs> Good morning. From sheer force of will forcing herself to wake up on a Sunday morning. <laughs> My God, this Sunday is imp- morning. impressive, Lilith. Impressive. <laughs> I heard there was an open spot. So I was like, you know what? You're talking superior post. Why not? Oh, that's absolutely. Right. Oh, yeah. We might get a couple of guest stars. Yeah, because uh, I guess we are talking some superior Spider-Man in here, too. The greatest hero ever. <laughs> nice. Yes. Love. Can you fill Dave's place? Can you bash CB Sabalski? Uh, can you lust uh, after Sydney Sweeney's boobs? Uh, mm hmm. As confidently as Dave Finn, I can I can do one of those two things. I'm never gonna bash uh, CG Sabalski because he did bring back Dan, Dan Chichester, so I can't yes. bash him. Man, oh well, that <laughs> that yep. Yeah. Uh, I mean, he's got points for that, hasn't he? So yeah, <laughs> but Sydney Sweeney, yeah, I can do that all day. Hey, 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 who needs Dave, eh? <laughs> <That's right. laughs> <It's> Sydney Sweeney. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so, oh, yeah, and then Lil, uh, this one down here, uh, pouting their, like, uh, system down there, it's like, oh, he, he's been off since his second child's been born, he has to go back to work in, like, a month or a little over a month, oh, wow. That, that's really great, <laughs> I, I, I love that people get, uh, family leave to take care, exactly. because it's important to bond with your children, it's something America doesn't understand. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, well, it varies, doesn't it? Depends on where you work. Um, yeah. Certainly, I know in Australia that there are kind of lean paternity leave um, periods. So, yeah, I'm just lucky. So, that's great. great. I'm really happy for you, too. Mr. Ma. Oh, hats on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can I ask you guys a question? So, are there like never any use for like cane stuff or <laughs> uh, what's an option? Yeah, I mean, I found like I mean, they're small ones, but they're, they're yeah, tiny, just, tiny ones. I, I yeah, go grab some issues. Well, well, a lot of times we don't do synopses because uh, we just yeah. we barely get to the issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, we we do, but it's like a yeah, it's almost like a you know, this is what it was, and this like is what we thought. thought. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I do, um, I just but I mean, I like to give I like to give Phil, you know. You know, I, I love to give him a good ribbing because you know Ben Riley. <laughs> I just thought he was Ben Riley. Yes, <laughs> uh, his niche things that he loves. It's it's usually Sydney Sweeney's boobs. Uh, what did Dave do on his four hour recording of Signal of Doom? Uh, Fifteen <laughs> minutes before we jumped on, and then okay. yes, how maybe. can how can we insert a lesbian scene somewhere as well? Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Dave. I have to. <laughs> 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 as long as they are uh, really busty, yes, Little Hellfire is down. Yeah. Well, Sydney Sweeney, come on. So. Well, <laughs> oh, oh yeah. That... Tell him about what you said about. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Ray, do yeah. you see uh, next year they're coming out with a remake of Barbarella? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Nope. Yeah. All, over, like, all over that, like a rash field. Don't worry. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. You're, you're on the spot Did with that. Did you go yeah. see Immaculate or is it out in Australia yet? Because she's. Um, in that. It, it, um, I haven't heard of it, but 
Uh, I it's think a it's horror a, no. film, and she's dressed as a nun. Oh, it's a little as a fetish. nun. It's just a little niche, but yeah, no, uh, that yes, I have seen that advertised. Uh, that was a while ago, right? A, li- a little while ago. Yeah, Maybe? I think it's still yeah. out though. Yeah. Yeah. It came out in March. Mate, I mean that you know that does ticket <laughs> that does <laughs> ticket box except for the horror element. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Oh, and I, is it is it on Netflix down there? Because Madam Web uh, hit Netflix. Yeah. I think it is, and it's doing really well. Is is it doing well over there on it Netflix? Is. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Well, yeah. well, that's what we said. We don't have to buy an extra ticket. Say you already have Netflix. It's like, oh, it's not going to cost me anything. Yeah, I'm going to turn yeah. it on. You, know, you can right actually up. hear what they're saying with cat or read what they're saying with captions. You can pause it. You know, if you need yeah, to, that's, wink, wink. That is a a good point, though. Uh, the wink, wink one, of course, as well, Lilith. But the the caption things, like you guys, do you always put captions on? Because I find it. I find it really helpful. I, I try not to, but the way that like some of the the volume dynamics and movies yeah. are, it's just ridiculous. Modern like movies, you, I have to have a caption. I we just to. talked about yeah. that last night. Yeah, about how. Uh, yeah, it's like you have an you have an action scene and you have it on a volume and it's just too loud, so you have to put it down. And then they go to a talking scene and then you can hardly hear anything. It's like what? So I yeah, what I find happened that... to like sound mixing in the last like ten years? Mm. But, like. I can't. I, I need a caption. <laughs> Me too. Yeah, it's really hard to listen in, like when they yeah they go there. Yeah. Anyway. But Madam Web was really terrible. Like I don't know if it was like it's specifically with the lead character. No shade to Dakota. Y'all know I love Dakota, but like it was like something about her. She had like real bad mumbly mouth in that movie. So I'm glad <laughs> to actually be able to like. I mean, not glad because the dialogue's awful, but I mean to make yeah. things a little bit more clear, especially with those scenes between Uncle Ben quote unquote and stuff like that in the beginning. It was okay. mumbly for me. So Yeah. Plus yeah, I had I'd... kids rolling rolling their eyes out of the side of their head because it was so bad. <laughs> so... so you saw it in the cinemas, right, Lilith? Yeah. See, so what was the I mean apart from the eye rolling, yeah, what was the kind of the general it was feeling in the hell in when I went, not gonna lie, I had three kids with me, so that was four people, and then they were like a couple people in the like down in the front and then there are a couple people down and back because i i have to have like the center seat like i'm yeah or or the handicap seats in the very back if nobody else has had them by the time i get there so those are like the two places where i sit but i sat in the middle for this and yeah people were just like uh they were really sad leaving oh no yeah yeah oh god anyway anyway it is a cool idea it was a cool idea but they should have just did julia carpenter i don't know why they didn't yeah, was it too Cornwall? I think they're going to spend everything out of that movie, but it it's like there was no love and care into it. It's it's like it was yeah. just done in two days. It's like the editor didn't care. It's just like even the actors didn't care at one point when they were in their interviews. So yeah, what Dakota said in one of the interviews, you know, she signed on for it, thinking it looked Not, pretty yeah, good, and then you. Yeah, Sorry? they tricked them into thinking it was the end. Yeah. They tricked a lot of and people. Then, like, and then they yeah. just changed everything. And she's like, well, this is not what I signed up for. So, yeah. Yeah. Pretty yeah, deep. I'm glad it's finding new life because I think it is. Yeah. I think it's, it is it is important because it was a female-led movie. I just wish they had a little more love and care for it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah true. Well, it's you know, we time. Can... I mean, it's Madam Web time. <laughs> well, and that's the thing with the Sony spiderless universe, you know? <laughs> oh, and they've uh, mentioned about I think Craven. That's coming out later later this year. Yeah, is they it? pushed it back. Thank God, because I was I, not ready. <laughs> I don't think ready. I don't think the timing's right ever for maybe a few years. <laughs> I don't know. Hold I think it, they hold just it. Need to get it out of the way and write it off as a loss. Honestly. Yeah. Well, that's that's where it's after, that arc is heading. The last Venom movie that's coming out is going to be the last Venom movie, like with Tom Hardy. I don't know if they're going to try to reboot it because they, they just haven't spun it out. Like it was supposed to be this whole thing with the MCU and that kind of fell apart. It's kind of crumbling on hold. So they're like, yeah, I guess. Well, that was the last hurrah. We might as well just wrap it up and try something else. So, so, like, yeah. so, so are they, is there a greenlit Venom 3? Yeah, is, it's it's coming is, out like next year, right? Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Interesting. And that, that's it for for Venom, <laughs> okay. and that was the best movie in the whole front, in like the whole quote unquote yeah. connected universe. And that's and look, a lot. Uh, it, that is. I was about to say that. Thank you, Liv. Like you know, Dave loves it. I'm sorry, Dave, but I don't think Venom's that strong. It's enjoyable, but it's not. 
It's not. If, if it was anybody else name. except for Tom Hardy, it would have flopped. I'll just put it to you that. Mm. Oh, okay, I, I thought I thought I was right. Okay, Venom: The Last Dance comes out at the end of October. This year? Yep. No, this year. year. Wow. Mm-hmm. I think that's why. I think that's part of the reason they pushed Craven back is to make room for that's Venom. That's idiotic. They need to. <laughs> that's the best thing they have going. So they should. Oct- they should have probably did the switch Rooney on that one. October twenty yeah. fifth. So I wonder if they're trying to like. Well, yeah, because that's, that's the slot. Yeah, because yeah. then on the ri- the original first Venom came out around that time, so that kind of makes sense. Gosh. Oh well, uh, I Poor think Sony. Yeah. This is the Sony movie, so it's scary. I think they're all dead ducks. Always scary. Apart from Across the Spider Verse or whatever, what's the other? What's the last one going to be called? Apart from that, I think Beyond Sony's, the Spider Verse, right? Beyond the yeah. Apart from that, I don't think there's anything else going for them. I so heard that they were going to try to spin live action off of that third one, like they break the fourth wall and go into the real world. I heard that. Te- I heard oh. that allegedly was the plot. Allegedly, I don't oh, know. Be, we'll see. That kind of maybe new. that's why they're trying to. I think that would be cool, but I don't know yeah. really how that's going to work. But like. Ever since Sony freaking tricked Disney into putting Andrew Garfield and freaking Tobey Maguire in, <laughs> in that last <laughs> Spider-Man movie, and people have been clamoring to have um, Andrew Garfield and Tobey Maguire like finish out their arcs and stuff, I, mm. I think it's a possibility <laughs> yeah. to do something kind of similar in live action with the, the Beyond the Spider. Because like, a lot of the people in Beyond the Spider-Verse would make good um, live action counterparts. So we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'm looking forward to that. Like, I've enjoyed that, those first two movies immensely, so. I was absolutely flabbergasted that the first movie was so good. Like, I did not, because it was so good, yeah. and I'm just like, you know, it's Miles, I don't know, you know, like, it feels like yeah. gimmicky, it's like the last, it's the only Spider-Man we have, we gotta do something. Yeah. And it blew everybody away, and the second one yeah. continued to be good, and I think the third one's probably gonna be the best one out of them all, so. Yeah. Well, the second one was, I was kind of like you. The second one was like, well, you know, how can they, they can't really replicate it again, can they? Like, it's going to be just like a nice sequel. But no, that actually, I was surprised at the second one as well. I really enjoyed that too. So, yeah. And, and we and got I Ben Riley. the multiverse too, but it was like, yeah. Actually, I didn't care. It's fun. Yeah. They made it, they made it fun. And um, I, I definitely think Deadpool will make the multiverse fun as well. So, yeah. If they would have just named it Deadpool Kills the Fox. A Marvel Universe. Oh, it would, it be would have been. That would be Chef's funny. Kiss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't get away with it though. <laughs> got to let you know Wolverine's in there. You know, you know, you see. Him oh yeah, yeah. In the trailer, but yeah, yeah. Bumps on seats. If they could have yeah. kept that like secret though, because just off the sheer strength of Ryan Reynolds just being Deadpool and really having the momentum on that character and being a great producer and really being able to push that through, I think it's still it would have been so cool to have it as a surprise. But you know they can't do that yeah. anymore. Like they movies, I just, know. they don't trust their audience. And, and at this point with Disney, I totally don't blame them. Yeah, we're gone to those days, eh? Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> the trailer tells you everything. Sometimes the trailer has something that's not even in the movie. Just to get yes, <laughs> so. that I find that I find really annoying. I I remember, um, God, what was it? I think it was called Vertical Limit. You remember that movie? Um, I don't. Know. It was a a, a mountain climbing film action film anyway there was a trailer on there and there was a particular scene i can't really remember it but it didn't show up in the movie and i just remember going God. you you wait for it during the whole movie and it just never arrives now now i know like less to expect you know what you well, said now in the back in the day they didn't yeah. really try to do that that just means that it got scrapped in editing but they thought it was still cool so they're just like eh, we'll throw it in but this these days it's very misleading now like on purpose yeah, like, yeah. Like, look at that Suicide yeah, okay. Squad trailer. Like, oh, you thought it was a good movie. Ha ha, psych. <laughs> <laughs> I remember going seeing that. That was, yeah, that was not good. <laughs> I mean, they thought they were going to save that with that quick scene in the beginning with Batman. My favorite character. <laughs> Dang it, Phil. <laughs> My ears have blocked out that. <laughs> that, that. That actually kind of made it worse, honestly. Like, for, forcing that whole Batman Joker scene into suicide. It's what actually killed it for me. And that's like at the very beginning. So it's just like, bro, I, I'm not here for that. I'm here for the Suicide Squad because I love DC villains. Like, I thought it would it was going to be really interesting that they started off the universe with like a, a villain film and they really just ruined it. It's it's what mm. we're known for at DC, you know, and they just who would, blew Who was the director? Who was the director? Is it well, someone? It's like David Ayers, I want to say. Yeah. Oh, was it? Okay. 
Yeah, it was shocking. Which he had been flopping all over the place with Constantine, the TV show. So I, he was he was in a bad yeah. way with me already. <laughs> Putting it yeah. on NBC. I was just like, you no, we don't give NBC superhero shows. We we we've known this for a while. What are we uh-huh. doing? So yeah. Yeah, he was in a bad space with me anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I think there's a, there's a big difference. I think there's a difference. It's interesting to know because both of you obviously uh, are well invested. Well, maybe not so you, Liz, with, with DC um, <laughs> on and off. But like, you know, for, for myself who, you know, hardly reads any DC and to watch that movie, you'd hope that that kind of movie would try and draw, like, you know, yeah. people who aren't necessarily interested. And it just it had no interest <laughs> at all. I was curious to know, though, what DC fans would have thought of it because like you would have had a, like an innate, as you said, Lilith, an innate kind of um, joy or satisfaction of seeing them on screen, but then Mm -hmm. maybe being disappointed at them. Um, Viola Davis and um, Margot Robbie were the best things about it. I was just like, I was was always apprehensive about Will Smith being dead shot and like all these like stunt casting and stuff yeah. and i think idris elba in the in the in the suicide squad was like absolutely a better choice for me um okay and that particular character and like it didn't feel gimmicky because like i don't know it's just something about will smith he's just corny by nature and i just <laughs> like if it's not fresh prince i don't want or independence there like like you know late 90s movies i don't want to see yeah. you in it like I'm, I'm still pissed they're making bad boy movies you know like i can't believe they are will smith. <laughs> what is going on there what is it? Aren't they doing also a sequel to I Am Legend? I heard. Yes, that, I'm very that would, curious how that works. And, and like, as in a, a um, like time wise, like a real sequel, right? So I think they've, yeah. they've all aged and everything. So that'll be that'll be cool. Let's see how yeah, it goes. I, I love that story. I mean, they they tried to tell that story like three different times be- before Will Smith. I love the book. I love you know. Mm. I like zombies, and I I thought it was interesting that they kind of made them sort of kind of like vampire zombie hybrids and yeah. stuff like that. Like the changes they made in the movie was really cool. I hope they use actual practical effects this time because the only thing that really pissed me off was the, the yeah. Dark Seeker CGI for the first one. I really love the... I Am Legend. I think it's some of the yeah. best work. But let's and... be real. It's the dog carrying the movie. And when that dog, <laughs> spoilers, dies, I was like, no! Yeah, yeah. And um, <laughs> yeah, that CGI dated terribly. Like it's yeah. awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But did you see also the alternate? Like there was an alternate. Yeah, that, that's the only one that I recognize. <laughs> ah, okay, okay, yeah, yeah, it was good. It was, yeah, yeah. I enjoyed that one. It's more true to the source material. Um, yeah, but you know, that's what I mean. Like sometimes suits are like, no, we gotta have a happy ending. Yeah, and I, I thought that the, I I heard that technically the audience actually really didn't like it. The the um alternate oh. ending is what a lot of people actually prefer. Um, that oh, then why did they when it came on DVD? Yeah, okay. You gotta have a happy ending. It's like, oh, yeah, oh, it's a, I'm the like, it's a studio, yeah, movie. sure. Like, eh. well, do we have to? Do we? But it kind of it, it kind of wasn't a happy ending, wasn't it? Like, he died, right? So, well, he I mean, died, it, but like, him, there's actually like a pocket of humanity. He's got the yeah. quote unquote cure. And it's yeah, just yeah, like, yeah, yeah. no, no, that's not what the source material is about. Yeah. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's a yeah. great book, actually. Like, that's that's that. If you have never read the book that it's based on, I think you should. It's really good. Yeah. So. Yeah. WB's yeah. just flopping all over the place, though. <laughs> Honestly, they're in their flop era, and I'm just so sad. Ever since um the new guy came over and they've merged with uh, Discovery, it has just been an absolute nightmare. Yeah. So you know, and Gun they trust, so we'll see. Ah, uh, I think. He's got- I mean, I love Peacemaker, but do I want a whole universe full of Peacemaker? You know, it's like, would you want everything to be Guardians of the Galaxy in the Marvel Universe? You know, I that's, know. That's kind of like what I'm scared about. How much like, do you think he'll just read? Yeah, how much will he just retrade, like stick with his formula? Uh, I don't know. I mean, what do you, what did you think of? Uh, this is probably for another podcast, Phil. But what do you guys think of the the Superman? Uh, there was a lot of comments on the Superman still of him putting on his boots, right? Did you? I like, I like all the memes that spun out of it. <laughs> yeah. I like yeah. that he's going with. Superman as the first movie and it's not him it's not like all dark and grungy like I like that mm. but and I always said that they should kind of go with an un, unknown Superman because mm-hmm. that's kind of like the truth I'm not saying that Christopher Reeve was unknown but like he wasn't like a mega superstar like oh no Henry Cavill yeah. or like you know like, like yeah. where he was when they decided to, to cast him um and then also you had um you know Brandon Roth you know yep so it's like it just makes sense to me, yeah, uh, to try that and to to like really take it down to the like beginning of Superman, not trying to like 
be in the middle of his career because like I feel like the yeah. best stuff about Superman where you really get to know him is when he's like struggling to like integrate with humanity after leaving Ma and Pa Kent. I think that that's just the most fascinating part of his life where he meets Lois. I mean, it's just lots mm-hmm. of actual human drama from that. Yeah, and you can connect oh, no. a lot better. Yeah. If only they could replicate yourself. Superman three, Superman three. You <laughs> know, <laughs> Superman at a bar. You know, looking a bit disheveled. <laughs> That's what you need. But you hear that you gotta guy. You got to build up to that, though. You got to build up oh, yeah, to that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They two two movies before that. Um, <laughs> but the guy as well, I saw they did a comparison. The, what's the guy's name? John Corn, whatever. I, I couldn't tell you, to be honest. Anyway, the, the guy plays Superman. He's, he's big. Like, he's taller than, um, like, they did the stats of how high and, and how um, heavy, you know, they are and stuff. Like, he's taller than Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve was the tallest Superman, I think. Yeah. So, today, um, he. Yeah. He's another two inches taller than that. So he's going to have a presence. Oh, yeah, he's six like, foot four. Yeah. Yeah. He's, oh, okay. I thought he was a lot bigger. Well, six four, there, but that's that's tall. So, yeah. Yeah. He's going to have a lot of presence, uh, which I think um, Christopher Eve, like, had because he was just so, yeah. yeah. But, like, here's the thing. And, and I love, like, the first Superman. The first Superman still gives me chills. Will make you believe a man can fly. The whole tagline. I love it. The mm. music, everything. But, like. God damn, does Chris, Christopher Reeves look old as hell? So does Margot Kidder. Like, so this kid, he's 30, but like he just he's definitely giving uh early 20s, which yeah. That that's the only thing that really throws me off about the first movie. But I'm like, yeah, people looked older back then. Like I have to always Oh yeah. As a 90s kid, I always have to kind of like like I like I grew up in the era of 90210 Ian yeah. Zinger, Zinger, you know, like Yeah, yeah. Did you <laughs> so, did you yeah. There was a meme, um, um being 30 in the 90s and they had a yeah, 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 yeah. it's like yeah and they're, they're just kid on the right hand side like is he 30 that, like, that's yeah. sickly victorian child timothy chalamet in that me <laughs> <laughs> from like june and willy wonka yeah like, oh, oh that guy yeah 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 he, that's him in the meme give me george any day yeah <laughs> george george. Can't stand you day. can't stand you <laughs> you mean uncle ben uncle ben <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so yeah so see well th- again or once again you've fallen into the trap yes we're t- completely off topic this is why I, I keep saying you, this episode this, this episode at the end of the month should just be capes and lunatics international and call it a day yes <laughs> we're not doing ben riley any so uh you know we're doing him a disservice aren't we well no, he's not even in Kane. yeah cares. oh <laughs> and like, there's a bloody chasm coming out yeah. right oh Holy, oh, anyway, At you must be that hungry that goblin queen. You know, that could have been a lot yeah. worse. Oh, <laughs> gobble, gobble. Disrespect on the goblin queen, honestly. You gobble, know what? Gobble. Madeline Pryor did nothing wrong. I totally agree with her. I would have done a lot gobble, worse. Gobble. I would have been looking for the Phoenix Force and burned the whole world down. Honestly, if Scott would have done that <laughs> yeah, exactly, to me. Exactly. Go for it. Just go for the, go for the jugular. Jeez. Yeah, because uh, yeah, because you you watched all of X Men '97, didn't you? Uh, oh Ray? yeah. Oh yes, I loved it. Ate it up. Um, I hope you guys loved it too, because I just oh yeah. yeah. yeah I, I, just, I was actually uh... shook at that how good it was, because like Disney has been in its mm. flop air, so I was really nervous. I'm like, this feels like a cash grab. Mm. Yeah, it, I didn't it know what surprised me. It very much surprised me. Yeah, uh, just animation. So funny though, because then I hear I, I was reading like, online and surprise, surprise online. There were some people. He kind of like, oh, it's terrible writing. You know, animation's crap. And that's go, just really be your it's like internet that. trolls being trolls. Yeah, I know, but it's just so weird. It's like, it really? Because I thoroughly enjoyed the whole thing. Like, <laughs> anyway, minus minus Rogue's booty being absent. Like, I really like it. <laughs> it came back once. Did you see that thing? There's one shot. Where she, <laughs> one shot. <laughs> where she gets it back. I think she's fighting. I can't remember. Um, Bastion. And she, she's she absorbing kind of... somebody's butt. She's like, I'm going to fix it. Yeah. All but, right. Sorry, Phil. You were talking about ninety-seven. Were you heading towards a something there? Or... Oh no, 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 no! I just see oh. she mentioned Phoenix Force. And, no. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I mean, we didn't see any of that. Like we saw it in the intros, right? We didn't see any Phoenix Force. I mean, no, kind of, sort of at the what was it at the end? Uh, I mean, oh the, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. At yeah. the yeah, oh, like fleeting, like an under, like a water phoenix. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, no, you're right. But no, just because it, it gave that really nice tease at the intro, you know, how they oh, got yeah. different images, and you had Jean Grey with the, the flaming phoenix. That was good. I did like yeah. how they kind of changed it every a little bit. Yeah, yeah. For a lot of episodes, yeah. 
because you're kind of like fishing for something every week at the, at the beginning, having a look. Oh, okay, what are they gonna? Yeah, yeah. like is that is that a clue? Is that yeah? Or are they exactly. we're shadowing something? Yeah. I don't know. It's just so weird because I feel like the 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 previous cartoon had covered so much, and it was mm. it was always like a shame for me that they had basically sped through the best arcs of the time when it came out. So I'm just like, what is you know what is X Men ninety seven gonna uh, you know what are they gonna do? But they they found some material. Yeah, that they did as well. But what are your thoughts? You know, I might as well just get them now. Um, because that was another a big criticism because they they did fly through a lot of stuff as well. But I would I, just start I kind it over of... from X Men ninety two. Honestly, <laughs> I would yeah. make, I would like and like you know kind of fleshed out a lot of those storylines because like so many of them are so iconic. But we still yeah. have a ton of iconic stuff to cover. It's just interesting how absolutely yeah they're gonna cover it within that timeline because a lot of the the best stuff came out in the nineties and yeah before ninety seven. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they they kind of tried to do the Age of Apocalypse in one episode and it's just like yeah oh, yeah don't remind <laughs> yeah. me yeah. But yeah, they've yeah, been doing right. a good job. I'm very yeah. excited for the next season. Me too. Yeah, I'm a we little just bit. Get a good animated Spider-Man cartoon. <laughs> oh, I would love that. Well, are they teasing act- where he actually punches someone? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we'll get hopefully, maybe. You know, people are clamoring for Spider-Man spectacular. Uh, not spectacular. The other one. Um, is it just Spider-Man in the '90s? I can't remember. Yeah. The title. Yeah. yeah. Spider-Man and um, even Fantastic Four. Um, which I was, think Fantastic okay. Four was super underrated, honestly. Oh, really? Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah I, can't, I I've only watched, yeah, I'm, I've rewatched some of it. Um, a lot of it's dated, but the same way as X Men yeah. is dated as well. So, yeah. I thought that they really did capture the Fantastic Four as that first family and stuff. So, yeah, that's the most important I'm, thing to me. <laughs> I I love the um, I, they had it on Disney Plus when Disney Plus first came out, and then they took it off. It was a uh, Another Fantastic Four animated series, or was almost like a like an anime manga thing. Did you do you know have what I'm talking about there, Lilith or Phil? Phil, I, I saw it for I saw like an episode or two of it. Um, it was good. I really I, liked it. Yeah, I think that up here, I think they actually had it on like Cartoon Network or something. Love. Uh, okay, I, is it the Fantastic Four World's Greatest Heroes, or is that the other one? Something. I think that was 2006. I think. I th- yeah, yeah. I think it, so. uh, it was like yeah, yeah. around that time. Yeah. yeah. It looks very anime, you know. I think or manga. Um, no, but yeah, it, it's re- it is kind of sort of in that vein because it was like 2006. Yeah. That was kind of the thing. Yeah, I think they're going for Ultimate Fantastic but, Four. Yeah, they were because yeah. they're pretty. Because uh, um, Reed Richards is super young. Like he still has the gray, yeah. but his face is super young. Still kind of yeah. round. So <laughs> round, cherub like. <laughs> exactly. Um. <laughs> it could be whatever he wants. So, oh, you're right. Actually, you're absolutely yeah. Not, not to break up the, the, the fun, but um, I did have a question. Um, yes. So this arc is during si- sibling rivalry, which is a pretty, like, the arc in itself is interesting, but it's kind of a flop, the way that they execute it, in my personal opinion. But I do like that that idea. He's like, he's like I'm going to go see Peter. Nanny Peter. <laughs> no. <laughs> you did a big boomer. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then the jackal shows up. I'm just like, damn it, jackal. I know, yeah, because yeah, because yeah, yeah, Kane shows up, and then Otto's like, "Oh yeah, this is the guy who snapped my neck and killed me." Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. dude. I was just like, "Ooh, awkward." Don't disrespect Otto Octavius, the greatest hero <laughs> of the Marvel universe. Ah. I, I really like that premise, but the execution, I just was so mad with. Okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, I thought I found it cool. Like, at the end, though, even Kane still thought it was Peter, right? Still didn't realize, had no idea it was Otto, right? Yeah, he um, never. Yeah, he's not yeah, the sharpest just, tool in the shed. No, so. yeah. but it's just like he's like, why? You're like you threw out. It, it's like why are you acting like this? It's really, it was really funny. I thought. Um, but yeah, and interested to know, Lilith, in what way don't you think it stuck the landing? Clones. It's always got to be clones. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, <laughs> like the jackal and what him, him wanting to. It, it did seem like a bit of a rehash, Phil. I don't know about you as well. Yeah, about, like this is another jackal. By those weird humanoid spiders, and I'm just like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Lilith and I really discussed it briefly when she said she might show up today. Uh, I'm so proud of you. Uh, the, yeah, and, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Again, it's pre- it was probably a yeah. Uh, Again, there's only like five more issues of Scarlet Spider in this series, so it's like we're saying maybe if it was a thing to try to boost Alessa sales. Ra, yeah, because yeah, Superior oh. Spider Man was such a big thing at the at this time. Yes, yeah, but the I think the 
downside of it was, yeah, it was like the jackal. Um, he still yes, fails yes, to impress the jackal. Yeah, it still fails to impress me, Phil. Like you know, during the whole clone saga, and when he comes here again, it's like, oh, he's doing the same shtick. Like, I liked Carrion because he's severely underused. I love Carrion as a character. Um, but yeah, uh, Jackal's like, oh, okay, well, this is predictable. And he's he's that kind of smarmy, friggin' smart arsey yeah. self again. Well, I was gonna say, what do you guys want? He's a creepy college professor who's stalking <laughs> one of his students and couldn't let yeah. it go so much that when she died, he had to clone her. Yeah, I know. Yeah, that is stalking her. I mean, I, I, yeah. I, I live in a glass house on that. I'm trying to build a sex robot, so you know. But at least I'm not a creepy professor that that stalks my 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 students. I have that going for me. <laughs> Um, yeah, creepy professors are the worst. <laughs> <laughs> also, wasn't this part of like that stupid Marvel Now stuff too as well? Where I think like, so. Yeah, I think got it was. Red She Hulk and like A plus X, all that stuff. <laughs> yeah, I went there. A plus X. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in the Marvel Journey Now. Journey into right. mystery. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, look, it was good to have. Um, yeah, Superior Spider Man. It's it's great. Like team up. As you say, they have that kind of uh connection of him killing yeah. Otto. So that was that was nice. And it was just kind of nice to see them like Otto was surprised as well at like how this clone was more ruthless than Peter. So you know, he mentions a couple of times, Oh look, Peter wouldn't have done that. Like this this guy's pretty like pretty rough. Um so I like that. Again, it it adds to that kind of persona of scarlet spider which we've seen phil throughout from issue one to 20 that um he's you know he's like the punisher <laughs> kind yeah. of yeah 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 punisher spider um which is good uh a, a really cool thing uh again just for off the top of my head was um who was it uh someone went into ben's oh was, was it carrion it was carrion went into um kane's mind and then kane said well you don't want to go in there and he he actually beats Carrion. This was in the the second issue, I think. Um, he beats Carrion because Carrion looks into his mind, and it's so feral and animalistic in there that um, Carrion kind of gets discombobulated. Um, I thought that was pretty fun. Was that the second one of this series? Yes, that was that. What was it? That that generic like fire guy or whatever. Or the, it was a new villain. I thought. I, yeah. Oh no! I mean, in this two parter. Oh, oh, the two-parter, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's Karen, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. That was good. Well, it happened before as well with the guy with the fire. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was good. I, I do yeah. want to say the thing that carries this, uh, this particular uh, book right now is Mark Chichetto's art. I love Mark oh, Marco Chichetto. is awesome. Mm-hmm. I think, yeah, he's absolutely. Um, and actually, the second issue was I thought it made like the painted kind of artwork. Yeah. Who did that? Who did that? Uh, I haven't got. I'm having a look now. Uh, Case Studios in Hyukli. Uh Oh yeah, Case Studios in, in Hyukli. Yeah, he does a lot yeah. of covers. Actually, he does a lot of covers now. He did a lot of. He's done a lot of Spider Woman covers mm-hmm. uh, more recently in, in the um, Color Pacheco run. But he's amazing. I love like having that. There's an opener where he's like dreaming. Yeah, uh, Kane, but I then it's real flicks... dreamlike quality, super hi- hyper realistic. It's good. Mm. and then it and then it flicks to into uh, Lee's um artwork, which is amazing. Well, you're oh, always going to get Ray with a uh, pit of naked blonde, so same. <laughs> oh, she's got, got a pa- headband on too. Perfect. Perfect. I told you, <laughs> I told you, a headband is always whether you clone her or not, that headband's always there. Got a panda tea audience, you know. Remember so. that? Remember that nineties exactly. issue, Ray, where yeah, they cloned her and she comes yeah. out, she yeah, she put that... naked except for the headband, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Of course, it's stuck to her head, like it's like um, she's iconic. <laughs> yeah, he's, otherwise we wouldn't know who it was. It's like she's just, like, just blonde. It, it's like Wolverine's <laughs> adamantium skeleton. No matter what, she comes out with that <laughs> yeah, headband. Yeah. Exactly, exactly. Um, but yeah, actually, I, I think, uh, yeah, leather. Just further to what you said, the art in general, like Chichetto's, but also uh, this one uh, in York Lee's. I think that really stood out for me in the second issue. Yeah, uh, Scarlet, and, yeah, um, just... yeah. I was just like, oh, I came in to tell in. So, what do you like? What are you guys doing next for Scarlet so, Spider? I mean, we've been going in order, so it'll be t- what twenty. Hold on, it'll 
Let me pull it up. But I think it's like 21 through 23 for Kane, Scarlet Spider. Oh, mm, oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, and after we finish this series, I think, oh, hold on, I can look. But we're gonna do Chasm. No, we're not. <laughs> I mean, no. no, I think <laughs> no, no. I, I think he might be petty about that. I don't know. Um, but I did <laughs> like we'll at, at the beginning of the um after uh, the superior uh, Spider-Man team up one where he's like, is that any way to greet your evil twin? And then he's also like that costume. I've seen it before in the news. A story about a new suit Spider-Man in Houston of all places. I'm like, ooh, yeah. Houston gonna get you. <laughs> you don't mess with Texas. <laughs> <laughs> don't badmouth them i love yeah. their banter though it was pretty cool yeah they, the banter was i found the dialogue a little a little tedious a little bendis-esque sometimes but this one was pretty straightforward and, and pretty snarky yeah i think i think yost has a good handle of um well i mean he's he's doing the series but he's got a good handle of that and actually be surprised. And... looking at you zeb oh, sorry <laughs> sorry that's phil's job <laughs> We've been trying to be but, nice to him because he's going through a divorce. <laughs> oh, mm -hmm. who? Who? Yost? No, uh, uh, Zeb Wells. Wells. Oh, Zeb. Oh, Zeb Wells. Yeah, yeah his, I was, okay. Okay. Wife's living her best life. <laughs> she is <has> uploaded. <laughs> Ray's like, you leave Zeb Wells alone. He brought. He he brought back Tombstone. Leave Tombstone. No, no, no. That, no. Was, that was, I was enjoying that part. I thought it was interesting that he. He. I mean, he didn't dig too far in the well, but I thought it was interesting to for that particular character and like the arc that they were doing for that because I was like, oh. You actually care about side characters, and then I was mm. like, "Oh, the ki arc after that? No, you don't." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I look. I, I look. I don't can't say like I'm. I mean, enamored with Zeb Wells' series. I don't hate it, but it's it's not. It's definitely not the best like Amazing Spider Man I've I've read. All right. Well, you know um, something's wrong when you can't hook Ray with the Tombstone story, okay? But oh, that Tombstone I, was great. Don't get, get me wrong. I love yeah, that. No, one, I, yeah, no. Like I said, I thought that yeah. was interesting, yeah. but like the arc after that, I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like there are some elements of. I know this is kind of obvious, but there's there's some elements of Spider-Man like comics that you just want to see in there, similar to like Fantastic Four. You want to see that kind of like relationship, kind of drama, and and I think Zeb Wells did that with uh, Tombstone and his daughter really well and it's you know it's not just your typical it's not just peter and mary jane or, or whatever your peter and, and aunt may it, or his friends um having that side of the criminal yeah um, there's certain things you want to see in a spider-man comic like his like a marriage marriage yeah <laughs> yes of course that too like we have so um, many single spider people why not why not yeah didn't didn't someone say they are not going to touch. Did Zeb will say that? Like they're not going to. There's absolutely no chance that they will get them have I them married. Don't, I don't know. That's what we said. We're like we've you know, said. It's been so long. There's somebody mm. there that's still there that's been there this whole time since brand new day, and they were just yeah. absolutely adamant about not. So whenever right. that person gets fired, we might get the marriage back. We got to find out who it is. <laughs> What we said, the new issue that came out this week was the legacy numbering was 944. We said, come on, 1,000, bring back the marriage. Oh, yeah. Well, me, and get that's me, and, me, and, me and well, they do like two a month. So it's they, not they almost true, need yeah. a big event to undo Brand New Day. Again, Wolf and I gave that permission to, to milk it for all it's worth, you know, charge us whatever you want. But, you know. Put out get, specials, get, put out whatever. Like, like, cover your ears, Ray. I mean, like, they made a whole wedding album for Batman and Catwoman, and they didn't even get married. So yeah, oh yeah. And everybody ate <laughs> I that. I found that the most hilarious. <laughs> yeah, I found that the most hilarious thing. Um, <laughs> so it's I'm like, not, man, <laughs> it did yep. numbers. It did numbers. Well, it did. I mean, that's that's the whole reason, right? And yeah. <laughs> Oh, tell, oh, tell him the best part. Yes, we put out a big marriage. Uh, or, yeah, I would love to see Mary Jane in a Vera Wang dress. And, you know, honestly, who I would want to do the wedding issue is John Byrne, especially the honeymoon Ooh. issue. Oh, we even said do it and then do a honeymoon issue drawn by uh, John Byrne and Todd McFarlane. Boom. Mm -hmm. We have it all planned out. They can call <laughs> us. Yeah. <laughs> be call us. We got you, bud. <laughs> How about Eric Larson? Get him in there. Oh, get everybody's welcome back. And get oh, yeah. and get his get his Savage Dragon flavor in there as well. Oh God! Oh why? <laughs> I also think that needs to be the time that Kingpin actually makes a big return too. I think it just 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 to set everything back to what we want to see. Stuff yeah, like the that. status quo. Let's bring yeah, it back. everybody kind of needs a status quo reset at this point. I feel like it's been a mission creep for quite a long time for a lot of like our main street level characters. I think that's been the main problem with me. Well, that's so. the problem. Yeah, yeah, because they never want to 
say, oh, we're rebooting, but they, you know, they try to do like the soft, quiet reboots. Like so for like Daredevil, I like that he's kind of more grounded and we're back in mm. his head and he's he's getting his yeah. stuff together. So Yeah. That's what I mean. Like we just get we just slowly make like like as we creep towards Spider Man uh one thousand, like I feel like, cause let's be real, Spider Man's the best selling book that they have. Well, ultimate Spider Man at this point, but still Spider Man. Yeah. So, you know, I feel like everything should naturally organically flow out of the changes that slowly creep into Spider-Man. That's what I mean. Like, we have, like, a little shot of Kingpin coming back for Daredevil and whatever so, I mean, else needs to be fixed in the other little corner. Speaking of organic, did anyone else find it creepy when the Jackal's like, yeah, I took blood samples and saliva samples. <laughs> you know, some other samples. <laughs> some, other samples. <laughs> some old school, uh, you know, experiments, <laughs> if you know what I mean. It's like, we're going to get, oh, man. Just a creepy jerk, man. Yeah. <laughs> I took all these samples. You got to hand it to me. Ha ha. ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jackal. Just really. Yeah. Uh, the worst villain you could possibly have. But you're right. I think a thousand. A thousand's huge, right? That milestone is huge. It's got to be. It's such a shame Something that it's not just volume one. <laughs> like, yeah. It's, it's yeah. taken, what, eight volumes at this point to get to a thousand? And again, it's so it's so it's so horrible that they you know kind of uh, kick the legs out from under them. Fantastic Four should have been the first one to get to a thousand. Of course, yeah. As, and as much as I love Spider Man, yeah, Fantastic Four should have been first. Well, never make a deal with Fox. I guess we don't got to worry about it because Disney owns Fox now. But that, I think that was the moral of the story. <laughs> yeah. What happened to X Men? What happened to Fantastic Four? So. They Namor. Have a house now, though. Namor. <laughs> Lilith Namor, the the oldest. Uh, well, Marvel. they they gave up on Namor. <laughs> start no start at the beginning. They should have kept volume one. He would have been what three three billion now. <laughs> she's three billion. Better be like old? screw you, DC. <laughs> My favorite biscuit. My favorite biscuit. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, Justin loves a little bit of sea biscuit. So I mean, if they had, I mean, <laughs> <laughs> my favorite biscuit. I mean, if they had been kept going from the beginning, I mean, Captain America could have did that too. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Crazy, like they they had a little bit of a head start and um, a little bit more brand recognition. If we're being real, um, for like mainstream uh appeal, and they kind of blew it. I mean, they, they mean they went bankrupt. <laughs> like, will you have to sell yeah. Spider Man movie rights to Sony? Yeah, what a what a crazy yeah, and Fox as well, like with the X Men and stuff. That's yeah, dire yeah. straits. Yeah. They, they they've rebounded. I mean, kind of. But look at them. Yeah, exactly. Look at them now. Like uh, one better than DC. That's, I, 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 as petty as I am, I can admit it. As salty as I am, I can admit it. <laughs> what is the future for DC? You reckon? Like you know, are they still going? Okay. <laughs> It's like no, <laughs> no, they're not. Yeah. Well, they have that new animated uh Superman TV show. Um, they have the Harley Quinn show on Max. They, 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 uh, the animation okay. almost is almost always going to be their rock solid like thing that they can go to. Well, I was about to say that they yeah they regularly release animated like movies, right? Um, mm, we don't talk. About well. Them. Oh, no. <laughs> Not good? Not no. for a while. I mean, like, they have okay. a new universe right now that a lot of people yeah. seem to be like. Yeah, but aren't they blowing that one up, too, after Crisis? There's, like, a three-part Crisis on Infinite Earth, aren't they? It's, aren't like I said, I can't wait to talk about it once the third part comes out. Like, I thought that the first one was really good. We'll have to see how they actually do the follow through. I feel like they kind of rushed that. Like, that's the thing. Everybody wants to rush to the good part, but they don't want to do the building that leads to mm. it and oh yeah that's my main issue that's just modern business practice at this point for comic book related stuff unfortunately yeah because the, the drama of crisis on infinite earths is like you know all these characters you love all these characters there's worlds disappearing which is why i kind of like for the event that kind of brought superman lois and his kid back you know it was like it was a slog to get through convergence was a sl absolute slog to get through but we needed it Okay. To appreciate Superman. And then look how successful like a superhero with a wife and kids is now. Come on. In red and blue, no less. Start yeah. Less. You know, it's like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. Take note, please. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, but, but yeah, the, yeah, I think my adventures of Superman is coming back. What this? Yeah, it's coming back. Really, yeah. yeah. Yeah, so that yeah, that's out. Now party, everybody's so. like, um, but I will say, like, I apparently, like, I didn't specifically like the the '90s animated Superman. 
I did like the crossover when they brought in Batman. And so like people are kind of like, oh. when are they going to bring in more characters? And I'm like, they, they can't bring Batman into my new uh, Adventures of Superman or whatever. That's It's too soon. Like I feel like he had that show hasn't really proven itself or earned it yet. It, it needs mm-hmm. to stay in its own little pocket and, and worry about Superman. I'm still worried about the development of Superman in that show. Well, yeah, I mean, well, all these series are, it's harder now because you only give them like 10 episodes if that a season, so. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, well, hopefully after being proven, like after, you know, that's just proving the model, themselves. Though, yeah, me. it's like, yeah. nobody really gets that many. Any, I, you miss know. A, I miss a, a 24, 26, 32 mm. season of animated stuff. Like I do, like, I don't know. They just don't, to be old and stodgy, they just don't make them like that anymore. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was lamenting that with Dave on his show. And we were just hoping that X Men ninety seven the second season will, will bump up to twenty odd episodes. I don't know how realistic that is, but I think maybe season three we could hope for season three because okay. and hopefully we have more than three seasons. It's something about I don't know yeah. if that's like the, a modern thing anymore, but I know like back in the day, like they'd be like, oh, we really don't want to go past four seasons of an animated show because it's like the cost, oh. the sunk cost of it all. They're like, we could just start a new one. So <laughs> oh, really? Oh, that's yeah. a shame. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, that's like standard practice for animation. So, but I mean, yeah. like Rick and Morty is like more than ten episodes, I think, and um, it's in like oh, yeah. season eight or something. So there's a couple shows that kind of oh okay not well, gone that, with that formula lately. Well, that's why I wondered if uh, that's why they did all those cameos in X Men '97. It's like, oh, we're we gonna spin out, you know, an Avengers show out of this yeah. Spider Man oh. or Daredevil or something. You know, oh, how how good did Daredevil look? It was awesome. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, that would be great. I mean, An animated the ob- Daredevil. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, because it works so well with Spidey. Like, so you have Daredevil, and you saw him flipping around. It was it was fantastic. And then you get into his whole, you know, Matt, you know, going out with, you know, everyone, <laughs> uh, and <laughs> all know, those relationships. Great. So, Danger yeah. Dog. You, you know, you know, <laughs> be great. Yes, you yeah. know, it'd be great, uh, Matt. Uh, you know, a Daredevil show with him on his uh, mushroom trip of. <gasps> The and no Santi run absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh yeah. That's my theory. Oh, yes. that he he yeah. went and tripped with Mephist, did some Mephisto's oh, mushrooms. That and is a blast he's still from the past. stuck in his head. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nothing yeah. will ever be as good as Mephisto's mushrooms. Oh, Shout right. out to Anna. Right, I forgot about that. Was that the whole with my the... twin? <laughs> Was that the whole with the, the caterpillar as well? What did he say that? Or oh, maybe I got that wrong. No, no, no. I'm getting it mixed up. Don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> that was Doctor Strange, and um, you know the the uh, Alice in Wonderland caterpillar oh, was smoking yeah. the hooker. Yeah, yeah. Uh, don't worry. Don't no, worry. no, no, no. Well, I mean, we say he was just high, but yeah, no. It was when we, when we left New York, and he was wandering around upstate New York. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then, yeah. Inferno. <laughs> he's in Mephisto's yeah. realm. Yeah, he's in Mephisto's realm, and then at the end, the Silver Surfer has to come in. Yeah. Yeah. Mephisto yeah. has a thing for Peter and Matt, and I. It's it's a weird thing. It's a weird coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, you know, you know, it would be the best, especially for us, Lilith, if uh, they started, if they did a uh, Daredevil animated show and they started animating Chichester uh, issues. But, oh. Black Armor, give us give yeah! Black Armor. And, yes. And also, you get, get Charlie Cox to voice them. That would be cool. <gasps> Ooh. And so he can, because you know how he, he looks like, he sounds like he's pretty keen on and very honored to play Daredevil. Well, he can still, do, and he talked about like, uh, his knees are kind of a bit crook now, you know, he's getting on, but he, if he could, he'd, he'd play Daredevil for another 10 years. Play it in animated. animated yeah. Maybe, yeah. Just. Oh, the voice. oh, Ben Urich played by DG Chichester. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only one that could get me to like that damn character. I'll tell you that. <laughs> he's, got a, he's got a good voice. He can, he can be anything. I know. He could be, could be anyone. Yeah. yeah. The arranger. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That'd be cool. Uh, so, see, that, yes, Lil, this is how we talk about the issues, but we don't talk about the issues. We talk about them, like, <laughs> around them. <laughs> You know, at this, um, point, at this point, uh, yes, Davis strung up C B Sabolsky and Effigy. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Sorry, Dave. I just, yes. I can't. You can't make me hate him. I'm sorry. I don't know. I, I'm not. I'm not saying you have. No, no. I'm not saying you have to. Sometimes me, usually me and Ray are sitting here going, Ooh, move back down, back down. <laughs> you know, just quiet. Just kind of sitting back. Just no, no. But Dave's funny, uh, and and he probably would have said something controversial by now for sure. I'm sure. Oh yeah. 
And yeah, maybe yeah. the ghost of Gardner Fox may have made oh. it <laughs> Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he loves that. And a J.R. Joe reference somewhere. Yes, Larry, yes. Larry Harmer. He loves that. Have Larry you Hama. ever had him on the uh, Inner John yet? Who? Phil? Dave? No, 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 no. I, oh, 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 yeah. That might, that would be a uh, trip. Is that what? Is that Transformers or? Yeah, it's Transformers. Transformers and G. 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 It's the new Transformers and GI Joe stuff that they're doing over uh, at Image. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. But me, Justin, with Larry and, Hammer, right? Yeah. Is Larry uh, Hammer he's do. He's still technically no. He's not in the Energon stuff. Uh. They're doing like separate uh, Transformers. They're doing like stuff. those little sh- spinoffs, right? But they're still know. letting him do the the original series. You know that he started in the eighties. So, I mean. He, that G.I. Joe series, that's up to over 300 issues. Right. Uh, that's awesome. Like, yeah. Talking about like, longevity. That, a dog that's, a bone. It's almost I mean, like Denny with Azrael. I mean, that series has gone through at least three different companies, and he's still writing. <laughs> still writing. That's great. I, th- I right. think it might Legacy. be in the contract. Larry Hammer has to write it wherever it goes. <laughs> imagine, imagine he doesn't want to do it. I'm imagining he does, but imagine that, like he's obligated to. Well, that's what I asked Justin and Russell. I said, do you think they would keep this going, you know, when he ultimately, you know, eventually passes away? I'm like, because this thing is so Larry, you know. I th- it's just, well, hmm. I don't know. I think they would let that go and, like, let the Energon universe be the thing. Because mm-hmm. he's, he's on in years, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't think he's oh, on yeah. Sure. No, like 74. That's, that's okay. Not isn't old it? For oh, no. Again, he could be president if he wanted to. Again, he's been <laughs> writing that G.I. Joe series since like 1982. So, yeah, he's a young yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. 74 these days. I mean, right is. Well, and the crazy thing going. is, you know, he was born in like 1949. So, like, that's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jeez. But yeah, I think they would probably let that out of respect i think i think a uh, yeah, lot of fans yeah. would probably be upset if they did keep yeah, going yeah. would you be upset oh. would you want to see somebody else continue it or like does he have a son like if, if it was like a son or somebody <laughs> in the family does he have, does he have I'm a cousin not, or... i'm not sure that's what i said unless like he left like intricate notes for i'm like that's mm. what we were joking it's about like we're george like... r. r mark we know that he's never gonna finish those last two game of thrones books so uh. it's just like did you at least have an outline yeah, yeah, do something so someone can pick it up. <laughs> For your editor, yeah. damn it. Because we said maybe maybe we'll be in the lockout. Maybe he'll leave like intricate notes. Oh, here's here's my here I plotted it out to like issue five hundred. So yeah, just follow yeah. this road. Yeah. yeah, easy, easy money for whoever picks that up. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just, you know. No, the Intertron universe has been interesting. Like the Transformers have their own book, but GI Joe they've been doing like mini series. They haven't done like a they regular did Duke, GI Joe book. Yet. Yeah. Well they did Duke and Cobra Commander. Yeah. And that, now Destro and Scarlet are about to start. And we're gonna have an interview here soon with the writer of Scarlet when number one comes out, Miss Kelly Thompson. Yes. So yeah. She's brilliant. Mm-hmm. Or whenever you mentioned, you know, she's yeah, she's she's awesome. Uh we love Kelly. Read, read us up anytime. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Didn't she just win? Did she just win something or she was no, nominated for uh, yeah, Birds of Prey? Yeah, something. Think, oh, yeah. Uh, someone told me that. That new run is that. great, it uh, is. by the way. Yeah. Rave. Like, I mean, it's ladies and she's switching up the team. Like, I still say, I, I wish like we got more Big Barda. I love her take on Big Barda. Black, Black Canary. In there. Well, if we know how to sell a book to Ray, Black Canaries in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Oh, good. Excellent. Well, yeah. I'm, just, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> See? See? <laughs> I and Kelly Thompson as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Win win, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Hey Lil, didn't you have some uh, Tigra uh, erotic stories to sell to Ray? <laughs> oh yeah, we're, we're joking because I told him like I, I've been trying to write a, a book to get on like the the Kindle train where everybody's writing those trashy spicy novels. Oh, yeah. and I was like, you know, I do take fan fan work commissions. I was like, maybe a nice Tigra oh. Hercules uh, erotic oh. rom com. Well, if you got if you got PayPal, Lilith, you know you want to. <laughs> of course. <laughs> <We're> on, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Can you ship digital a digital book in a brown paper bag? <laughs> the cover, yeah, that the cover art's just a brown paper bag. <laughs> it's, it's just a book. It's just a book, Eve. Don't worry. It's just some nighttime reading. It's research. Don't worry. <laughs> research. It's research. Oh yeah, it's for the podcast. Don't worry. <laughs> no, I, think, I think if you want to get Ray, you got to do the orgy with Tigra and uh, Madrox the multiple man. Don't, well, that's don't, not a bad idea. Orgy. To be fair. But is it an orgy if it's like one guy really? <laughs> you know? I mean, it kind of goes back to like the Watchmen, where he's like doing his work and he just did. The- <laughs> like, <what? laughs> like, oh, you know, he's serious business. Where he's like, no, I- I'll send my other guy to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Little's like, I don't care how powerful you are, I'll murder you. You do that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I need your full attention 
full attention. You tell shit, the whole world is done, then it's like, get your egg McMuffin and get out the door. You're done. It was the Uber. Get the hell out. <laughs> oh, Shuka. <laughs> oh. Were there consequences for him making a clone of a clone, by the way? Um, um, I don't or did we know. ever get that far? I'm trying to, I'm trying yeah. to think. I don't know if we ever really no, We'll find out. This. We'll find out, won't we? I'm trying to remember. There's that. Well, again, in this in this Kane series, there's only like five more issues. Oh, yeah, 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 kind right. of dive. Spoilers. We'll dive into some Kane stuff or not uh, Craven stuff here soon. So yeah, yeah. yeah but after yeah. after the Kane series, we're kind of we'll do like uh, uh there was like a, what was it a uh, Spider Verse uh, mini series. We'll do that one I- episode. Then after oh, that, oh yeah yeah yeah. After that, we'll get in the c- clone conspiracy, and then we'll get to your favorite Ben Riley uh, Scarlet mm. Spider series by Peter David. So yeah, I didn't really okay. like clone conspiracy, c- clone conspiracy, but I'll have to reread it again. Uh, yeah, I wasn't too wasn't too happy with it. But anyway, I mean, I mean, yeah, I was like, oh, should we add this? But again, it's where they at. Yeah, actually bring him back. Yeah, so I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, kinda yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's it's pretty big for Ben Riley. So yeah, absolutely. It's, it's just all the clones at this time. Like that drove me up a wall. <laughs> like every time you mm. turn clone this, clone that, I'm just like, okay, we get it. Yeah, can, can, <laughs> I'd rather have a horny tiring. Doombot, but whatever. <laughs> Bring back corny Doombots in the Marvel Universe. That's what we've been missing in the MCU. I'm just saying. And apparently we might be getting Doom, so I'm super excited about that. Ooh, I don't know who I yes. want to play Doom, though. Like that's the like I can't think of anybody that has that punchable, conniving little face. I can't think of anyone as well. No, yeah, yeah. It, it's gonna have to be it's that's a make or break, I think. You you have to get a good Doom. A so. good presence, but it's gotta be kind of petty too. Can you yep. act? Can you act smug while talking about yourself in the third person? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Anyway. Oh, I and uh, Tom Ellis, honestly. Oh, Tom maybe. Lucifer. Tom Ellis, yeah, maybe. I'm not sure who that guy is. Lucifer. Oh, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Somebody yeah. also said Adam Driver, but I'm like, no. Uh, mm. <laughs> Nah, What's that guy, John Ham? Is he bad or good or no? Oh, John Ham. He's kind of nah? old though. I, He's I don't think well... they're going for old. I okay. think the Fantastic Four are going to be pretty like in their mid twenties. I mean, well, yeah. Reed Richards needs to be like forty, and Sue needs to be twenty five at least. So it's not. Crazy. Oh my! Yo, <laughs> jeez, Reed's doing something right. So anyway, <laughs> um... <laughs> oh yes, and Ray as a as a Patreon subscriber, uh... yes. This summer, you're going to be getting an episode. Uh, while we were Lilith and I will be recording while we're on a secret road trip. This, uh, at, at the end of June, we're taking a secret road trip. I was about to say, What haven't you guys done? Uh, <laughs> seriously, uh, your stuff is gold on Patreon. And everyone who is listening, please consider throwing some coin Lilith and Phil's way a bit more for, for Lilith because she's she's got fan fiction happening so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes. I do have a good fan casting for Doctor Noom. He is a little old, but I love him as an actor, Vigo uh, Mortensen. From oh, yeah, I, I haven't seen like him in he's years. A very good, but, he's a very good yeah. character after he gets into his characters, and he has a presence. He's good. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, but he's that, I mean, that how old is he now? Well, he's I think. yeah, yeah. He's yeah. well, he he doesn't need it. He's got Lord of the Rings money. It's the same thing with like um, yeah. Elijah Wood and those guys. Like they haven't had to work in. Two decades at this point. <laughs> Everything yeah. they do, they do for fun. Yeah. So kind of like uh Daniel Radcliffe, like all his movies post Harry Potter are weird as hell. And he did a play where he showed his penis. Like he's just living his best life, living off that <laughs> writing money. You know, Jeez. it was like a big epic for everybody involved in Lord of the Rings. So yeah, what's well, the definition of living your best life? Showing your penis off. You know, it's, it's every man's British dream, plays, isn't it? man. Yeah. British plays. They, they love showing their, <laughs> their, their full frontals. <laughs> they do. I don't know what it is. Yeah. All right. All right. Ray, Ray's going to get out of here soon. Yep. All right. Yeah. Got to gotta have a. He has to sleep and rest up so he can uh, give us. Uh, check on the kids. Check, check out uh, Ray on uh, play YouTube. Marvel Snap. Ray, play, Ray plays games on YouTube where he plays with himself for every episode. Ray plays, I, yeah. It's I can't believe it's not on OnlyFans. You're so generous, Ray. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You get not only one handed, but maybe two handed as well. It all depends oh. on what game I'm playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, can't wait. Um, it's really oh. good. <laughs> A couple of balls down the gob. <laughs> all right. So, yeah. So, next, uh, well, 
next week, yes, we'll be back and you'll hear us the, the beginning of uh cannon fodder summer as we begin with our first cannon fodder. Of course, it's a shocker. So Vibro Shugger? wants his shtick back. Shocker. Yeah, yes. yeah, okay, okay. Cool, uh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, yeah, we've been recording a little ahead. So Ray, uh, in mm. ju- uh, in July, we're going to be doing some juggernauts. Uh, the first week, which we're going to be recording soon, uh, we're actually doing uh, Spider Woman thirty seven thirty eight, the original series. Oh, so if you want to uh, send jug- feedback, yeah, hang on, is Juggernaut in that thirty seven thirty eight? Um, okay, yeah, yeah, it's like him and the X Men. It's like it's like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. Love Come it. on, Ray, ho- one of the co-hosts of in- I should have known. Two young two young kids, give him a break. the Spider Woman podcast. Come on, yeah, yeah. that was give you him know. a break. You said thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Okay, right, yeah. So. Oh yes, <laughs> yes, <laughs> makes sense now. Yeah. All right, so yeah, so uh, well. So everyone, yes, and then uh, when we come back uh, in one month, yeah, we'll be covering Scarlet Spider twenty-one and twenty-three. So send us your thoughts. Uh, email us. Well, you get you get all the riveting Ben Riley discussions, as you heard in this episode. <laughs> exactly. Kane, in depth, uh, you know, thorough. <laughs> so, no. And probably, and probably uh, the return of uh, number one Chuck Dixon fanboy uh, Dave right. Finn. So. <laughs> all right so yeah so email us kfc at lunatics at gmail.com or call the voicemail 614-382-2737 that's 614-38 capes uh remember you can find all things capes lunatics episodes social media mer- or merchandise get your new capes and lunatics merchandise now I'm with more school, episode I, i'm right. old school too with, with all yeah. the logos and uh and again, you can always just rain ra- ran the money on us through the Cash App link, guys. Uh, little Telfar demands. Treat us like we're that young girl dancing her way through school. Uh, <laughs> Send your fanfic commissions. <laughs> Make it rain. That's right. That's right. Uh, so, yes, Cash App just rain ran the money on us. She looks like she was awesome. just working a f***ing <laughs> stripper pool down at Divas. Who's that? <laughs> that's, that's Justin. That, that's 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 from a drunk. That's from a drunk Justin unboxing video. Yeah. It sounds like a drunk Justin. Yeah, I funny. love drunk Justin. He has yeah. so much material. It's me, your old pal, the owl. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah. So. Uh, 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 Oh, that's naughty. All right. So, yes. Uh, and then, of course, subscribe to the Patreon. You don't know what you're going to get. We, hell, we don't know what we're going to do half the time. <laughs> Again, the May episode is just random BS. So, yes. Uh, <laughs> Based on that Moon Knight meme, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You'll random see it. Bullshit. That's the cover art. It, it's a uh, yeah. random. All right. So, find everything all in one place. That's tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. That's tubespace.io slash capes and lunatics podcast network. More vicious and brutal than ever. All right. Um, all right. Special guest star, Miss Little Hellfire. Thank you for guest starring on Ultimate Spider Cast. Uh, where can Yay. people find you? Uh, you know, you can favorite your, uh, you can friend your favorite internet granny on Facebook. You can find me on Instagram uh, or threads. Or, you know, if you have some content you need comments on, just at Little Hellfire69 on TikTok. That's not where I post content, but I will comment. On your, on your, on your. Do the six or do the nine. Don't pull it out unless you're going to use it. That's true for guns and penises. (laughs) The best life tip I can give anyone. It's all rape and murder. I'll tell you that. (laughs) Well, the jackal did show up, so. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. Well, you don't want to know the things I've done. All right, and the and the most requested little hellfire drop. Yep. (laughs) That's it. At least, it's, at least it's not the Russell one that scares Ray. Oh, yeah. No. That... So aggressive. Oh, oh it's not the Ray, Ray, Ray's like, oh, that sounds like for the exorcist. Yeah, it does. <laughs> the record play backwards. Your mother's a whore. <laughs> it's crazy. All right. All right, Ray. All right, the high priest of uh, calling you in sausage. Yes, where can people find you podcasting and playing Marvel Snap and talking about Batman? Thank you very much, Phil. Um, you can catch me at Ray Ray Pod. I still do Moon Knight podcast episodes uh, of the new issues only at the moment. So Rebecca and I are due back in June. Um, to know is to fear her, Spot On One podcast. Just uh, Sarah and I are just trying to find some time 
that we both are available, which is good, but we're still going strong there. Predator and Prey, I'm there with the drunken Justin. Loving it. Um, we've got an episode coming out soon. I've just got to edit it. It's uh, it's in the bank. Uh, and as well, yeah, uh, YouTube, Rope Plays Games. Go check it out where I play, yeah, one-handed or two-handed solo. It's good. Uh, Marvel Champions. Marvel Legendary. I don't want to hear this Marvel Snap stuff. It's Legendary okay, or Champions. Okay, quick question about um, Marvel Legendary. Did you get the 2099 set yet? Um, upper Deck are just really hard to uh, – really slack in distributing. There's, we're still getting it on pre-order, like, in Australia. It, okay. It's it's out in the US. Yeah, no, but I'm definitely going to get it. Okay. Um, I, I play the um, 007 one. So, yeah, I can see Oh, James, James Bond. It. Yeah. Yeah. They have a James Bond one. Yeah. Yes, I want to get that, um, but I'm just kind of knee deep in Marvel Legendary. But I've oh, heard yeah. the James Bond is very, very good. They've got like two expansions already, right? Yep. So yeah, yeah. I'm definitely going to get that. I've got all the other Legendary encounters, and I've got Buffy Legendary as well. So um, just a bit of nerd nerd speak here, Phil. So yeah, it's good. Legendary is really a really fun game. So just saying yeah, that. Just a little checking your cred. Yeah, what do you know about these games? <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I spy on the channel. He, he does good. Kid does good. Uh, ah, <laughs> lovely, lovely. Well, I, I actually I did record one just recently, but I'm not going to put it up because I got really, really <laughs> annoyed. Um, yeah, so uh, I'm not going to put up Patreon. the Patreon. That's for the, the Patreon. Right. Yeah, Patreon. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you're pissed off, Ray. <laughs> Try to play. Dolly, anyway. right, throw it in. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> all right, th thank you guys. Uh, thank you, special guest star Love Hellfire. I would say anytime, but you know that's a lie. <laughs> well, yeah, well, yeah, I think it would be pushing it to get two Sundays that are Sunday mornings in a row. <laughs> are, are you fighting a drop beer? <laughs> <laughs> that's a bug spray for spider. All right, <laughs> shock it next time, but until then, so we go back. Flip. All right. Have a great night, Ray. Have a good day, Phil.